Hello world, thank you so much for tuning in into my channel. My name is Sal and this is Sal the Rookie. Hey guys, thank you again for tuning in to my channel. This is the first video of our channel. My name is Sal and this is Sal the Rookie. In today's episode, we are going to talk about my first project. Now, a few things I need to mention before we start. First, I have zero experience in car mechanic, car repair, or anything for that matter. Number two, I have zero tools to repair a car. Number three, I think a bit more than what I can chew. Now, our first project came all the way from Japan. Well, it's not like I shipped it from Japan. It actually here in Australia and it's made in Japan. Japan, the land of culture, the land of history, but we're not talking about Japan, we're gonna talk about the product, okay? Now, you know how they say, when life throws at you a lemon, you make a lemonade. So if Japan throws at you this, well, you've got three options, I guess. First option, just toss it on fire, just set it on fire and just enjoy it. Number two, you can just sell it on eBay or Marketplace or whatever and just recoup your losses. And number three, being a rookie, you just fix it. Let's talk about that. So, without further ado, this is the project. Subaru Impreza 1998. It has a lot of problems. I mean, on the good side, it runs and drives, so that's good. Also, it is actually registered, so what, can, what else do you need? Let's talk about it in details, but before we start, let's give you a, a cold start. Alright guys, so here what we got. We've got Wiki. World Meet Wiki. It's a 1998 Subaru Impreza. Not the turbocharger. This is just a normal one. And well, how about we start from the beginning and from the front of the car, where as you can clearly see missing a grill but not to be alarmed the grill is actually in the back seat so that's a good thing there is overspray on the uh, on the headlight i don't know if you can see that or not tons of dings i've never seen actually a paint so horrible like this one on this side though the doors are actually good and if you go to the quarter panel over here, you can see a lot of scratches. I don't know if you can see them. I oh, actually, you can see them. I mean, if you can see them in the camera, well, that means it's that bad. Dings here and there, and you've got this massive ding. Oh, look, it has aftermarket tail lights, which is ugly. I don't know if you've noticed the elephant in the room, but the, <laughs> the trunk lid is actually a different color. On this side, what we got? Apologies for the sun and for the mic. This door definitely needs replacing. This door probably, oh yeah, it definitely needs replacing as well, as you can see. But overall, I mean, it's not that, oh wait, there's another ding over here. It's bad. And yeah, that's it. Let's just have a quick look at the engine and see what we're dealing with here. All right. Oh, God, it's heavy. Well, I don't know if you can see, but there is engine. Yep. Everything is there. On the inside. Let's have a quick look at the inside and see what we're dealing with. Oh, God. What have I done? Well, 
clearly it's bad. Hey, they've got a freebie. What do we got over here? Well, I know because I've seen it before, so that's it. We've got the grill. Nice. We've got... Oh, that's the spoiler as well. So that's a good thing. Uh, you know what? It might not actually be as bad as I thought. That's good. All right. Wiki meets the world. World meets Wiki. World not impressed. All right, see, not a bad start. Everything is vacuumed and clean. I mean, don't get me wrong, the carpet is dirty as. Uh, let's just see the console over here. Yep, it's vacuumed. Everything is clean-ish. Seats are clean. Now the back seat, that's a total different story. Look, oh my God. It is horrible. You know what? I always ask myself, how do people do this to their own car? Like, when do you draw the line? When do you actually, when do you actually stop? When do you stop and say, my car is dirty, it needs cleanup? I mean, obviously this one should have been cleaned at least a year ago, but it didn't. Oh wait, look at that, look what I'm looking at. Interesting, yep. Does it, does it work? It doesn't, of course it doesn't. Why would it? I mean, you can clearly see that it's literally dismantled. Let's get back on cleaning the back seat, then after that, we'll have another look at it, okay? from there, okay? Alright, after struggle, the best thing is to show you what 
have to do. So I'll put them down. And there you go. You can see the latch from over there. And once you do, all you need to do is just unbuckle it. And that should basically open this. Welcome. You guys, you know what? This is the first time that I've seen it just like you guys. Oh my god. But on the flip side, we've got this massive beast. The greaser. That should come in handy. Alright. Oh god. Do we have a spare? Yes we do. Yes we do. It's actually a black one. That's the rim. Hmm, nice. There's a lot of gunk inside. There you are. Alright guys, now that we cleaned Wiki and we brought it inside, we vacuumed it, we mopped it, everything should be alright. Moving forward, all our work will be inside the garage, sealed, confined and everything. Now, one of the challenges that I forgot to mention, that my garage is actually pretty small. We'll tackle that next time, probably. <laughs> Until then, I'll see you and I'll see you people. Meanwhile, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like it, share it, and see you next time. Yalla, see ya.